Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we have work safety special. Some of the things that we have done here are a bit dangerous. That's why we have a lot of safety precautions, like the safety box here, blast shield, stuff like that. But how dangerous these really are, and to find out that, we have our new test dummy 10 million. It's made out of ballistic gelatin. And now we are going to see what happens if you decide to watch, for example, ball bearings being crushed from a couple inches away and you don't have safety glasses or anything. I think it's pretty bad idea, but how bad? Only one way to find out. Okay, we are ready to go. This is really complicated setup, but now we can we can capture everything. High speed GoPro, force being used, everything is going to be captured in great detail on this highly scientific work safety experiment. Don't try this at home and here we go. At least the polycarbonate took a lot of damage and hard to say what happened to our test dummy, but definitely I wouldn't watch it like that. One of the eyes is gone, it's missing, and there is a lot of like, I think these are not, they are not like inside, it's just so sticky that the stuff gets stuck here. There is like small cut, but here on the upper lip, check out this. This is pretty deep. Oh my God. That was like a half an inch inside. On the lower lip, there is like really, really deep also cut. I don't see is there anything. I think there isn't anything inside or then it's so small that we cannot see it. But uh, overall, I would say that without safety glasses, there's also scratch on the eye. Yeah, you can feel that. Yeah, uh, definitely would uh, lose both of eyes and like lot of like deep cuts on the face. I, I think this is not like life threatening situation by any means, but still definitely uh, not good idea. <laughs> yeah, I want to take one more with the bearings. This time we put just one larger one so we can see the impact better. Okay, the googly eyes were really funny, but they weren't really scientific. So now we have boosted the science way up with the grapes simulating the eyes. <laughs> and here we go. got hit. Let's have a look at the high speed. Hope that we get the, that from there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Pretty good hits. And here you can see the eye flying or the grape flying in like really badly damaged. So Okay, now we are stepping slightly out of my comfort zone with this huge ball bearing. This is going to be like 10 times stronger than anything we have crushed today. So there's going to be a lot more energy on this one and probably more danger for the test dummy. No, it didn't go. We have to try to find smaller ball. OK, 
okay, if one pick doesn't go, maybe two smaller ones is the uh, better solution. <laughs> That was pretty loud. I thought that those grey pies are going to be so badly damaged, but no, the ball bearings go into so small parts that they hardly do anything. Of course, there's like a couple bigger ones also, but those didn't hit this time. Then next item, nice. And this is the most exploded knife that we know. And yeah, new grapes, everything is ready to go. Let's see. Okay, we got pretty nasty hit on side of the nose, goes in and fails out. Doesn't look fun at all if you ask me. Enough of sharp things, then we will increase the power and danger, like amount of energy. Let's explode a hammer on its face. <laughs> Okay, so here is the situation. As you probably see on the high speed, the hammer hits it straight to the nose. And I'm probably not able to calculate the speed of the hammer fragments, but it's pretty fast and it's pretty heavy. And we actually broke the nose from the guy, and I didn't know, but this has some kind of red liquid inside. So <laughs> it looks now like this. But the uh, hit to the nose was so hard that the nose broke. There isn't any like cuts or anything, but that's just like so much blunt force. I'm pretty sure that this is the last round. <laughs> The guy has uh, had a, a quite rough day at the workshop, <laughs> but uh, he still wants to uh, try to squeeze this brass cylinder. Okay, I'm not sure did anything fly. I think it should be a bit taller, but I don't have anything right now suitable. Small bang and it nevertheless. Yeah, but our uh, brave test dummy is going to continue his journey on Beyond the Press channel with our stupid grinder discs video series. So if you wanna follow him, go check Beyond the Press channel. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.